So in the previous video, we looked at receiving a user's input and uh, manipulating those numbers for an output. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a play with some more formatting in case you want to change the design in any way. I just want to show you a couple of little things so you can manipulate different elements that we've played with. So the first thing I'm gonna do is play with the geometry reader to create a background. So we're going to use geometry reader in the same way that we used it before, geometry reader. Geo in, and then we're going to have a Z stack. So Z stack is our third axis. We've got X and Y, which you'll be familiar with. Z stack is how we can stack things on top of each other. So we're going to have an image, which is our background. So this will be first, and then we need to have an image. So in our assets, I've already dragged in my wallpaper image. You can drag in any image that you like into that space. So I'm going to have wallpaper, which is the name of my image. I'm going to make this resizable. I'm going to scale to fill. Scale to fill. I'm going to fill up that entire space. I'm going to ignore our edges. We're going to set a frame and a width. And this is where we'll use our geometry. And we can do the same for the height, geo.size.height. And we want it to align to the center. And I'll also add the opacity just in case you want to play with this yourselves. Uh, we can adjust this. It's currently set 100%, so obviously if you want it 80%, it'd be 0.8, etc. Okay, so we have our image. Uh, Make sure you spell geometry correctly. Oh, let's give that a run. So now we have our background and we can start to layer items on top of this. So for example, if I add in some text. We can give this properties, for example, our font as we did before. Can set the font weight, set the foreground color. Now we can start to see that build up. If we wanted to have multiple items in here, here of course we could add in a V stack. And then we can start to layer each of these items. Should close that off. So if I wanted to have another piece of text, I could add that in as well. Okay, so that's how we can create a background image which will stretch with our design.